Hey friends, welcome to the Swing My Heart podcast. Come join me, your host Nicole, for some hope-filled conversations about heartfelt entertainment that makes your heart swing. Hey Hallmarkies, welcome to the Swing My Heart podcast. I'm your host, Nicole, joined once again by my good friend, Alex, to preview the Hallmark Channel Countdown to Christmas Movies for 2024. Welcome back to the podcast, Alex. Yes, I'm so excited to be back, Nicole. I'm so excited to be previewing all these great movies this year that we have for Hallmark Channel. We have a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of Yes. Really, really great ones this year that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's always fun to come on and like preview the Christmas yes. movies. I feel like every time I do this, like I'm always like in a good mood because I know the Christmas movies are going to be starting in like two days. So it's always exciting yeah. and fun. Yes. I'm so excited to have you back. Would you like to start off with the first movie? Yes. Okay. The first movie is Twas the Date Before Christmas and it's going to be premiering on October 18th and starring. Robert Buckley and Amy Graining. It was written by Ramona Barkert and directed by Bradley Walsh. To prevent her family from canceling the Chamberlain Family Christmas Olympics, Jessie lies and says she's inviting a date to the long-standing holiday tradition. She meets Brian on a dating app and he agrees to spend the holidays with her and her family. <laughs> What do you think about this movie, Alex? I think it's going to be a great premiere movie for yes, Hallmark. I, yeah, I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree with you. I feel like they're going to have really good chemistry, Robert yes. and Amy. And I remember last year when we when I reviewed last year's Christmas movies with you and we were talking about Amy having a lead role. We were saying how we wanted her to have a lead role when she finally got one. So I'm really yes. happy about that because, like I said, Santa Summit, Last year when she was in it, she was amazing. And then mm-hmm. when I saw yeah. her in the Great American Family movie that she did with um, Laura Osnes, Laura Osnes. Yeah, that Russell. Yeah. yeah, she was fantastic in that too. And yes. I'm, like, I'm like, she has to have a lead. She has to be a lead. And, and they gave her a yeah. lead role. So I'm very happy about it. Yay. <laughs> yeah, me too. And Amy was telling me on the podcast when she and Robert met, they really hit it off from the beginning. Yeah. So I think they're going to have great yeah yeah that's what usually happens it's usually like you're gonna have really yeah. good chemistry with somebody or it's gonna be like yeah. so so but majority of the yeah. time I feel like everybody well has really great chemistry on these films so yeah I'm excited to see the Christmas Olympics and what that will entail I know right we saw that one preview last night or yesterday that Hallmark posted and I think they were doing one of the Christmas Olympic games, it looked like. And the first scene right. where Amy's kind yeah. of standing behind <laughs> that podium. I remember the promo now, yeah. What would you rate this on a scale of one to five for your mm-hmm. initial ranking? Give it like a three out of a five. I'll say 3.5. Three, right? Right? I was going to say 3.5. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll say 3.5 for an initial based on what we know. So the next one is Holiday Crashers. It premieres on October 19th. It stars Lindsay Fonseca, Daniela Monet, Chris McNally, mm-hmm. and Jag Ball. It was directed by Michael Robeson. Best friends who work at a card shop decide to shake up their Humdrum world by creating new identities to crash the amazing Christmas parties from the shop's confidential invitations. Soon, their lives catch up to them as they are whisked away to a fancy corporate Christmas retreat in the snowy Vermont mountains. <laughs> what do you think about the holiday crashers, Alex? I think it's. I think it's really also another great one but it looks it looks a movie like from the previews it looks like such a fun movie and i'm so yeah. excited daniella monet is in a movie because we've been talking about this since we loved her on victorious i'm so happy she yes. got um a lead part in this with Lindsay, who i also love and i think i think she's great too in all the movies she's been in mm-hmm. but i'm excited for this one it's definitely going to be 
a fun and entertaining one. Like they're gonna be literally crashing a party the entire movie. So how can it not be fun? Yeah. Someone? And of course, party shout out with Chris McNally. So mm-hmm. I'm excited to see Chris in this movie. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Had they, when the, did he ever do a Christmas movie before Chris? No, right, right. We did, right? But a couple of years ago, I feel like. I think this is his first Christmas movie. He's done a winter movie before. And then the fall one last year, three bed, two bath, one ghost. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's why I wanted to ask you. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute, did he ever done a movie before Chris? And I was like, thinking, <laughs> I was laughing yeah. my brain. I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, he has done a few movies, but I think this is his first Christmas movie for Hallmark, which mm-hmm. is awesome. Yeah. I'm sorry yeah. they gave him they gave him a lead role. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And fun fact. Michael Robeson, the director, that is my chiropractor's brother. Right, <laughs> you always say that. That's such a small world. <laughs> yes, which is awesome. He's directed a couple of other Hallmark fan favorite movies over the years. Like one in particular was It Was Always You with Tyler and Aaron. One of my favorites of all time. <laughs> yes. But anyway, yeah, mm-hmm. what would you give this movie for your initial ranking out of five? I don't know. Um, I go to four. Yeah, I'll right. give it 3.5. Yeah. So the next movie on our list is called Scouting for Christmas and premiering on October 20th. It's starring Tamara Morris Housley, Carla Marx, and Marcy T. House. It was directed by Jason Bork. Realtor Angela has been happily raising a 10-year-old daughter ever since her amicable divorce. Although she doesn't have time for dating, her daughter asks the owner of her favorite bakery to help her mom cater her scout troops holiday event and Sparks Fly. Sparks Fly. I'm so excited for this movie. I think Tamara and Carlo are going to have great chemistry. Yes, I definitely agree. I love yeah. I love Carla Marx. I love Tamara. Mm-hmm. I've watched Tamara since she was in Sister Sister back in the day. Yes, yes, <laughs> such a classic show. But yes, Carlo, I'm so glad they put him in, in another Christmas movie because he hasn't been one in like since like two or three years. And I'm happy to see his face again. So I think it's going to yeah. be a really good one. It'll be fun to see Tamara as a single mom. Yes, in this movie yes. too. Hmm. I do too. Seeing her as a realtor, I think that'll be fun as well. Mm-hmm. I wonder if we'll get any inclusion of like home design in this movie. That would Interior be really design? Fun. Yeah, it would be cool. It would be cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, Jesse's shout out, Carlo Marx. <laughs> yes, yes. As David. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to see this one. What would you rate it on a scale of one to five? Um, since it's Carla, I'm not 3.5 or 4 around there. I'll give it 4. Right? I think it'll have a great cast. And Marcy, mm-hmm. if I remember correctly, was in one of the Mystery 101 movies. Yes. Yes, she was. I for, mm-hmm. I can't think of the, which one she was in, but I know she was in one. Yes. Yeah. She's been in a lot on Hallmark. <laughs> I know. She's been in a lot. Yep. She's been in a yes. bunch of movies. I think she needs a leading role. Can we get Marcy a leading role? Yes. We got everyone that's secondary. You gotta give them lead roles eventually. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is Operation Nutcracker. Its network premiere is October twenty fifth. It originally premiered on Hallmark Plus for Christmas in July this year. Mm-hmm. It stars Ashley Newbrow and Christopher Russell. It was written by Kathy Breyer and Erica Deutschman and directed by David Weaver. When a priceless antique nutcracker set to be auctioned at the Warby Family Christmas Charity goes missing in an unfortunate suitcase swap, it is up to exacting event planner Lottie Morgan and the free-spirited heir to the Warby dynasty, Tristan, to track it all down while capturing the heart and spirit of Christmas. I actually did not see this one when it premiered on Hallmark Plus earlier this year, but 
I'm excited to see it when it premieres on Hallmark Channel. Yeah, I didn't watch it either, either Nicole. I don't know why. I just maybe I probably I probably forgot to record it. But no, I'm definitely excited to see it too. I love Christopher Russell. I I don't think there's one mm. movie I dislike him in, and I love Ashley Numero too. Her few movies that she's been in. Um, yeah, it, it's like an int- it's a very interesting like storyline, like the Nutcracker theme. But mm-hmm. I think it's gonna be yeah. a good one. I think so too. I think they'll have great chemistry, and I'll give it. 3.5 initial yeah. ranking yeah that's what i was gonna say 3.5 too yep and of course you mentioned the nutcracker i love the nutcracker too so i love that element to this movie yeah yes very right? like like to, to christmas's tradition like with the nutcracker so mm-hmm. yeah and it sounds like it's got a little bit of mystery to it and i love mm. the mysteries so yeah yeah i'm excited mm-hmm. to see this one me too the next movie on our list is The Christmas Charade, and it's premiering October 26th. It stars Rachel Scarston, Corey Sevier, and Kristen Booth. It was written by Kate Prognall and directed by Corey Sevier. A cautious librarian raised by home security experts finds herself in a real-life adventure when a blind date mix up leads her into an undercover FBI operation forced to pose as the girlfriend of a special agent Josh she helps him track down an art thief targeting St. Nicholas's Ruby at a Christmas Eve charity ball (laughs) I'm so excited for this one of course I may be a little biased because of (laughs) look at this Kristen being in it, but I also mm-hmm. love Rachel and Corey together too. So mm-hmm. I think it's going to be great. Yes, I agree. I love them together in the mystery movie. They just did it like a few a few months ago, Canine Mystery. I thought they were great. Jazz Ramsey. Jazz Ramsey, yes. Canine Mystery. I, I really like them together. I thought their chemistry was pretty good. And we all, we, you and me both know we love Kristen. So that's why we're double excited. Yes. <laughs> Is Hallmark listening to the podcast? Because let's see. Last year, for our Santa Summit review, we said we wanted Amy Graining in a leading role, and we're getting Amy in a leading role. Right. And on our Sign Sealed Three Letters review, mm-hmm. I think we said we wanted the cast in more Hallmark movies, and we're getting mm-hmm. Kristen in a Christmas movie. <laughs> no, they definitely are. No, but I'm glad, I'm glad that she's in a, in a movie person, because... I, I always want to see her more since she's been on SNC. Yeah. Like she like she deserves so many more acting acting roles. Like she's so fantastic. So it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be a great movie. And plus the storyline is really, really interesting. Because I feel mm. like when Rachel did her movie, The Royal Nanny, I feel like she okay. kind of like had like the same type of a background. Like she was like like investigating, like she was working behind yeah. the scenes, she was investigating, she was a nanny. So I feel like it's like that kind of like FBI covered background. So I feel like she's going to do a great job in this movie again. So she had that type of background before in the other movies. So it's going to be interesting Mm -hmm. to see. I think so too. And Rachel and Corey, I think, deserve more roles on Hallmark too. Because we haven't seen them a lot over the past few years. Mm -hmm. No, the last movie I remember Corey being in, he did the movie with Jody Sweden. Yeah, the, the heiress and the handyman and the other one mm-hmm. I, I remember him being in before that is the one he did with um Vanessa um, Lindsay's take me back for Christmas that one and then the one with the pumpkin movie he did with Taylor Cole pumpkin everything pumpkin everything yes 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 I love the mystery element to this one as well mm-hmm. I like it it's always fun to add a mystery into the into these movies yes. it always makes it more yep. exciting I feel like <laughs> yes the next one on the list is the five-year Christmas party. It premieres on October 27th and stars Katie Finley and Jordan Fisher. It was written by Zach Hug and directed by Peter Benson. Each holiday season for five years, former high school theater rivals Alice and Max reunite in Chicago to work at a catering company's Christmas parties. While their undeniable chemistry grows, the timing is never right for romance. Until the company's final season, 
pushes them to confront their true feelings. As they say goodbye to the job that brought them together, they might finally find love in the most unexpected way. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited for this movie. I love Katie and I love Jordan. Of course, we both know Jordan from yes. Disney Channel mm -hmm. and Nickelodeon. He was on yeah. iCarly, Team Beach Movie 1 and 2, and Liv and Maddie, just to name a few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I believe the writer for this, Zach Hug, is the one who wrote Ghost of Christmas Always from 2022. Mm -hmm. So like, that was I, a big hit. When they first announced that one, Nicole, I'm like, I don't like, I loved Ian. Ian Harding, I love. I loved him like when he mm -hmm. was on Pretty Little Liars. I, he was like my favorite guy on the mm -hmm. entire show. And I was like, kind of like, I'm like, oh my God, he's going to be in a Hallmark movie. And I was like, the storyline kind of like, I was really like so, so on it. And it surprised me in the best way. It was that, I think it, that one was one of my favorite movies of that year when it premiered. It was so great. Mm -hmm so good that one I loved it yeah I think that might have been my number one Christmas movie of 2022 yeah. if I remember correctly I think yes it was it was very very good yeah yeah that one or my grown-up Christmas list which I also think came out that year yes but yeah. it was in my top five I know that mm -hmm. but yeah I am so excited so I know if we both loved Ghost of Christmas Always, we're going to love this because Zach wrote it. Yeah, definitely, definitely will. I'm excited to see Katie because I, yeah. the one, the movie she did last year, Sealed with a List. List, yeah. I didn't, I missed it for some reason. I meant to record it. I know it got such good reviews by a lot of people. Oh, And when so I saw it again this year, I got it recorded, so I got to watch it. Just a little bit. It reminds me of my growing up Christmas list because of the five year time span. Right. I thought of that too. Right. Yep. I think it'll be a really fun movie. Mm -hmm. And I think I they'll too. have great chemistry. What would you rate this one out of five for your initial um, rating? Give it a 3.5. I think I'll give it a 4.5 mm. out of five. And I'm excited to see Peter directing another movie. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's always great. He always, we always love Peter. That's a fantastic job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The next movie on our list is A Cow for Two, and it's premiering on November 1st. It stars Jenna Claire Mason, Jordan Litz, and Charlotte D'Amboise. It was written by Nina Weinman and directed by Jeff Beasley. With a big dream of working on Broadway, Violet what? Wagner moves to New York and gets a job at a legendary diner, Fiore's. After landing a job at the diner's annual Christmas Eve concert, her opportunity isn't at all what she expects. This is going to be a great movie, I think. I have loved Jenna Claire Mason's movies. That movie she was in two years ago, the Rocket movie. Like I think that was one of my favorite movies of the entire year. That year. Uh -huh. it was, yeah, she was fantastic. And plus, I love the whole like fifties, like old fashioned, mm -hmm. old school background yeah. of that movie too. It just gave yeah. me like such nostalgia. But yeah, she's great. She's been great in mm -hmm. all her movies that she's been in. Yes, she is two for two for me. <laughs> Holiday spectacular, and then. The one last year at Heidelberg Holiday, which was oh, filmed mm -hmm. in Germany, I believe. Yes. That, that one, one was I great, missed, too. That one I missed, surprisingly. Also another one I meant to record, and I forgot. But I, I kind of watched that one this year, too. It was a really good movie. I think you'll enjoy mm -hmm. it. And I think we both know that Jenna Claire has been on Broadway. So mm -hmm. it'll be fun to see her in this role of someone wanting to be on Broadway right she's back to her roots so that's yes, gonna be nice back to her roots. yeah <laughs> and she has a beautiful voice so she does yep. yeah I think it's going to be a great music movie always love a good Hallmark music movie <laughs> me too I do too who doesn't love yeah. music <laughs> yes with a little sprinkle of Broadway in there of course too right mm-hmm I think I'm going to give this one five out of five. Yeah, I was going to say 4.5. 4.5. Yes. 
So the next one I am super excited about, and it is Our Holiday Story. It premieres on November 2nd, starring Nikki Deloach and Warren Christie. It was written by Dwa Botkin and directed by Jason Bork. As Dave and Nell recount their love story to their daughter's boyfriend, Chris, we follow them through one special Christmas where fate routinely brought them together and kept them apart. Mm. But as Dave and Nell try to find one another, they were oblivious to the fact that they were work nemesis paired together to throw a Christmas festival for their town. Meanwhile, in the present, Chris struggles with relationship issues of his own as he attempts to say I love you for the first time to his girlfriend, Joe. As our two couples and storylines intersect, lessons are taught and learned about communication, honesty, and the capacity for change in ourselves and in others. Mm. This one I am really, really excited about. I am too. After, after you just read that synopsis, I, didn't, I was like, wow, it's looking really good. But yes. the thing is, not to interrupt you, Nicole, I feel like people have been asking for Nikki to be in a movie with Warren for years now. And it's like yes. finally happening again. Do people have been asking for it? Yes. I remember people have been saying it for a while now. And I'm like, come on, come on. They finally gave it to us. So it, it's it's going to be a, a great one. So yes. I always love Nikki's movies and Warren's too. No, yeah, I do too. The last movie I remember Warren Christie being in is with Candace Cameron Bure, which premiered back in 2020. It was If I Only Had Christmas. Yep. He's been in a couple more since then. Crashing Mm -hmm. Through the Snow from 2021 with Amy Acker. And The More Love Grows from last year with Rachel Mm -hmm. Boston. And then Holiday Road also from last year with Sarah Candy. So, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. I did watch When Love Grows. And I just maybe thought I was thinking Christmas movie-wise. But no, that was a good movie he was in last year with Rachel Boston. That was a good one. Yeah, I think they're going to have great chemistry. And when I had Nikki on, she was saying how much she enjoyed working on this movie and with all the cast. They're all fantastic. And Princess Davis, who was in The Gift of Peace with her, is also in this movie. So I think Mm. it'll be fantastic. Definitely. She was also saying how this is something we have never seen on Hallmark before. So Mm. it'll be so fun to see this storyline on Hallmark. Right. I do too. It's going to be like something definitely, yeah. like you said, Nikki, definitely different, something we've never seen before, which yeah. is always fun. You always love seeing yeah. like, things on the network like that. <laughs> I am going to give this an initial rating of five out of five. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I was thinking the same thing. Same, five out of five. So it's starring Caroline Ray and Beth Broderick. It was written by Sarah Wise and directed by Caroline Labresh. Best known as the aunt on Serena the Teenage Witch, Ray and Broadwick portray women who clash at a Christmas committee meeting and find they've accidentally set up their adult children via a dating app. As their kids fall with each other, the mothers find an unexpected friendship. I think this will be a fun movie. What about you? No, I agree. I agree. Like I said, I remember the both of them being on Sabrina's Teenage Witch back in the mm-hmm. day. I only watched like a few episodes. Yeah, me too. But it, it looks like a fun, yeah, like you said, it looks like a fun storyline. I think it's cute that they set up their kids on a dating app and their kids wind up falling in love with each other. But I think it's nice that they added that they make, um, they have a bond and form a friendship too, which is going to be nice. Yeah, to see. it'll be nice to see a film on friendship. Yes, I always I always love those yeah. storylines yeah. when they when they're included in these movies. Besides the romance, the friendships are nice to be added in too. <laughs> yes, I agree. And Caroline and Beth are great as well. So yes, I think it'll be fun. Like I said, they've been in the industry a long time. The two of them. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, and Beth has been in some other Hallmark projects before, as well as Caroline. I remember Beth yes. was in. Christmas Town with 
Candace Cameron Bure. I loved years ago. her in that one. I loved mm-hmm. her in that movie. Yeah. Loved her in that one. She was very good in yeah. that. I'll give this one for an initial rating 3.5 out of 5. Yeah, that's what I was going to say too. 3.5. Yep. The next movie is Trivia at St. Nick's. It premieres on November 8th. It stars Tammy Sersick and Brant Daughtery. Mm-hmm. It was written by Christine Garver and Stephanie Jackson and directed by Marlo Hunter. When mm-hmm. students all flee an elite university in Vermont for winter break, the locals and faculty hunker down for their favorite time of year, the mm-hmm. annual Christmas Bar Trivia Tournament. Due to a last minute change up, an astronomy professor and a football coach must endure the ultimate holiday scavenger hunt on campus. Mm. This sounds like a really fun movie. No, it definitely does. I'm so excited that Tamman and Brant are in another movie because I have loved the two of them since they were on True the Lies together back okay. in 2010. And fun fact, they actually, on the show, their characters actually date each other briefly on the show, which is so funny. Okay. I, when I first saw that they were doing a movie together, I was like, oh, they're back together again. <laughs> That's going to be nice to see. But yeah, it looks like a fun one. It's like a scavenger hunt type of theme movie. Yeah. I always love scavenger hunts. I feel like they're always, you always have a good yes. time when you're doing one. So yeah, it's probably going to be another great one. I think so too. And I didn't know that about Hammond and Brandt. Yes, I have a very, very vivid background of Pretty Little Lies. That, that used to be my favorite show in high school. Mm-hmm. Before, I, I swear, I never missed one episode, a premiere or finale. I, I never, remember, you remember I said this to you? I remember you said like, that. I was so obsessed with this show in high school. I think about it now, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> but it was a great show. But um, also, another fun fact, Janelle Parrish was in it too, and she had like one of the lead yeah. roles, and she was mm-hmm. awesome in it. And Ian Harding, a couple of people that have been on in the Hallmark movies lately. And but I'm I'm glad these two are in a movie together because I really like them together when they were on the show. So yeah, I think they'll have great mm-hmm. chemistry and it'll be fun to see an astronomy professor and a football coach. Right. No, I like how's that going to get <laughs> kind of sounds like oil and water. Water, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. An interesting combination, yeah. but I think it'll be great right. in the end. Yeah. No, I, I do too. So the next movie I know me and you are both really super excited <laughs> about. Okay, it's Santa Tell Me and it's premiering on November 9th. It stars Aaron Krako, Daniel Lissing, Benjamin Ayers, Christopher Russell, and Kurt Sharka. It was written and directed by Ryan Landles. When Olivia, a successful interior designer, finds an old letter from Santa promising she'll meet the love of her life by Christmas Eve and that his name is Nick, she's stunned to meet not one but three guys named Nick. In addition to navigating three holiday romances, she finds herself drawn to a co-worker. I wonder who that co-worker is. <laughs> I know who can it be? Half half. Chris, and played then. by Daniel Lissing. I could not be more excited for this movie. The excitement level is times <laughs> infinity. But you, like you said, me and you know, like we're both so excited for this one because I have not seen Daniel Lissing or Aaron's chemistry together. And I am so hyped for it. Nobody understands. I don't know. I understand. No, you think you get Except for you, Nicole. You're the only person that gets it. But I'm just so excited that Benjamin and Christopher yeah. are in it, too. Because I, I love them, too. So Yes, but, me, yeah. too. Yeah. And parties have been asking for this, no joke, since 2014. And the fact that you're finally getting it 10 years later what I was honestly I remember when they announced it my mouth dropped I was like there's no way there's no way they're bringing Daniel back for a movie but I'm so happy that they did because like I said I don't want I don't watch one close the heart but I know everyone I remember you sending me scenes from when they were together on that show and I'm like 
yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> yes, I remember when that was first announced, my jaw hit the floor. I was like, this is not actually finally happening. What? <laughs> I was, like I said, I was shocked. It came completely out of left field for me, but I was so excited. I'm like, yes, I finally get to see their chemistry. I know it's going to be so amazing. <laughs> so I'm look, really looking forward to it. Yes. The first sneak peek preview premiered, I think, during the Wind Calls the Heart season 11 finale. And mm-hmm. I'm excited to see that scene that they previewed. In yes, that. I know. The one in the train station. That's the one you're talking about, right? Yep. Yeah. When they run into okay. the Santa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Me too. Of course, Aaron and Dan are going to have great chemistry. And I think that she'll have great chemistry with Ben and Christopher and Kurt as well. Mm-hmm. They're all fantastic. So, yeah, they're all great actors. I'm super excited mm-hmm. to see it. And the scene that they also recently showed where they're outside that house in the snow. And yes. she says the name Nick and then they all turn around. I think that'll be yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give this one for an initial rating five out of five. Agree. Same five out of five. Yep. Yes. I think it's going to be one of the best ones of the entire year this year. Mm-hmm. It's definitely, yeah. definitely going to be up there. Everyone's going to be watching yeah. it. Oh, yes. It has a great ensemble cast. So, oh, mm-hmm. it's going to be a favorite and a huge hit for Hallmark for sure. Moving on to Tis the Season to be Irish. It premieres on November 10th. It stars Fiona Gubelman and Owen Mackin. It was written by Joa Botkin, Samantha Herman, and Michael G. Larkin. It was directed by Leslie Demetriotis. A house flipper heads to Ireland to renovate and sell a cottage, but her plans change when she meets a local realtor determined to preserve his town's heritage. Mm. This sounds like some movies that we have seen before, but I think it'll be a fun one. No, I do too. I feel like I'm thinking of like the background, like the Irish background. I'm thinking of Mm -hmm. the movies that we have seen that have been in Ireland before. I can't remember the names, but that's what I'm immediately thinking of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, I love a good Hallmark movie with a house flip to it. Yes. Yes, I do too. Yeah, I remember the movie last year with um, Marcus Rosner. And Marcus Rosner, yeah, and they flipped the, they flipped the house in that movie. I thought that movie was really cute. I like that storyline. <laughs> Love a good home design show, so yeah. I think this one's going to be fun. No, it definitely will be. Yeah. Like Fixer Upper, one of my favorite shows. They, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chip and I Joanna. Yeah. Fixer Upper's a good yeah. one. <laughs> demo day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to see a demo day on this movie. I Maybe, bet we will. Possibly. But yeah, I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 to start off for an initial ranking. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 3 around there. The next movie on our list is called Christmas with the Sings and it's premiering on November 15th. It stars Anuj Joshi and Ben Hollingsworth. It was written by Emily Ting and directed by Panta Masla. Mm-hmm. For Asha Singh's Christmas is the most important time of year, but when she's stuck working at the hospital during the holidays, she wishes for some much-needed Christmas magic. Enter Jake, her former high school classmate, that's always fun, who unexpectedly reappears in her life. After a magical year together, Jake proposes, but their first Christmas as an engaged couple isn't the fairy tale they imagined. When they head home for the holidays, they quickly discover their picture perfect romance is about to get a serious reality check. <laughs> this sounds like it's going to play out over two years, maybe? Right. Possibly mm-hmm. three, if there's mm-hmm. a wedding at the end of this. Right. It looks like like a long it's like a long period of time mm-hmm. that they're going through. I'm looking forward to this one. It's definitely, a, I feel like a, a different storyline that we really haven't seen before. Like we've seen 
obviously a majority of these movies, couples um, fall in love and break up. But I feel like we've never seen anything like this in a Christmas movie before. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so, but it does have a classic Hallmark trope with the former high school classmate. Yes. Mark, sweetheart. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yes. I think it'll be a fun movie, and I always enjoy Ben's roles. He always yes. does a great job. So I did too. I be, I feel like he's like honestly become like one of my favorites since like the yeah. last couple of movies I've seen him. I think I think he's great. Yes, and of course, Percival shout out. He was in the pilot movie with yeah. Lucy Neely. Mm-hmm. Yep. So Percival's watch this movie <laughs> and support Ben. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. And of course, he's in Virgin River as well. So, mm-hmm. all Which the Virgin River show. fans out there, mm-hmm. go watch this movie and support Ben. Yep. I also love how Anuj works at a hospital. I think that'll be a great shout out to all the Healthcare nurses workers. and mm-hmm. people in the health yeah. community. Right. I do too. But I feel like the only other movie I, that's coming to my brain right now. <laughs> I remember where someone played a hospital worker was when Brandon Penny was in the movie with Jesse Schramm. The, time for time him for, to come home. Yes, Christmas. yes. That he, that's the only way I'm thinking of right now. Like remember where someone was played a role in a hospital during Christmas time. So that's what it brought me back yeah. to. But no, it should be it should be a nice shout out to all the healthcare yeah. workers. And that was one of my favorite movies from 2021 for homework. Mine so, too. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one. Four out of five. Yeah, I was going to say the same. Four out of five, yep. The next one I am also super excited about. Jingle Bell Run. Mm. It premieres November 16th with Ashley Williams and Andrew Walker. <laughs> it was written by Tom McCurry and Stephanie Sourapis and directed by Lucy Guest. An unadventurous school teacher gets signed up for a Christmas themed reality competition show where she's paired with former hockey player Wes. <laughs> this looks like it's got some Christmas hijinks to it, some Christmas uh, games. So I think it'll be really fun. Yeah, I do too. I feel like Ashley and Andrew together are gonna be so fun to watch together. Yes. <laughs> they feel like they, they have like such like bubbly personalities, the two of them. I feel like it's gonna make mm-hmm. right. I feel like it's yeah. gonna make the movie even better. Cause they have like those yes. nice fun outgoing personalities. So it's gonna be a good yeah. one. Yeah. And I love <laughs> the title of this one too, Jingle Bell right? Run. I yeah, know it's such a no, it's such a like good, like fun title to it. Yeah. I wonder what kind of games we'll see them play in this movie. That'll be fun. I know. To watch. I know. It would be fun. I love when they like yeah. do a, a movie with games and like contests. It always makes it more yeah. enjoyable. Have you ever done anything like that? Christmas relays or Christmas games? Games? Yeah. Remember? I feel like Christmas games, the only. <laughs> Not like charades or anything like that. It's a really like typical game that you play. I don't know. Typical, I guess, maybe for my family, but you ever heard of Left, Right, Center? I think so, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But that's like the only game that we play around Christmas time, me and my family. But yeah. I know people play like crazy fun Christmas games, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's the only one I, me and my family really play. But it's not like Christmas based. So I guess no. <laughs> yeah. I could be wrong, but I feel like I remember one year maybe two or three when I was in middle school my school did like a Christmas field day and we did all these fun relays and people had like reindeer ears and stuff like that it was really cute yeah (laughs) I'll give it 4.5 out of five um yeah I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a four yeah Four is fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The next movie on our list is Confessions of a Christmas Letter. And it's premiering on November 17th. And it's starring Angela Kingsley, Alex Santos, and a cameo by Brian Bumgarner, written by Jennifer Smith and Kate Smith, and directed by Heather Horton Doyle. When quirky family monarch 
steady rose enlists novelist Juan to help her in the town's annual holiday letter writing contest. A mix up leads to the rumor that Juan is engaged to Steady's daughter, Lily. I'm excited to see this one. It's got a letter aspect to it, of course. Right. Time sealed. Mm -hmm. Right. Stands over yes. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun with the letter because it always makes us mm -hmm. go back to sign so delivered. But the storyline yeah. seems like really like interesting. Mm -hmm. A letter writing contest. Yeah, I agree. Right. And so the office are going to love this movie, I think, because of Angela Kinsey and Brian Baumgartner. Yeah. Oh, my. I'm such a big office fan. I'm like the biggest fan of that show. It's so it's so hilarious. But yeah, I remember them being. I remember them being in the show, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're great on that show. I haven't seen every episode, but the ones I have seen, they're hilarious. I haven't seen them all, too, but I, I laugh nonstop when I watch it. <laughs> It'll be great to see them in their first Hallmark movie. Yes. And Heather Hawthorne Doyle is a fantastic director, so I'm excited to see her work in this movie and see how the writing goes with Jennifer and Kate. Yes, be yes, fine. I do too. I'm going to give this 3.5 initial ranking. Yeah. But Man, it, it could go up. Mm -hmm. I was going to give it a 3.5 too. Next on November 22nd is Christmas on Call. It stars Sarah Canning, Sir Darius Blaine, and a cameo by Donna Kelsey. It was directed mm. by Jeff Beasley, ER doctor Hannah Michaels, and EMT Wes Sullivan work on balancing their relationship and demanding jobs ahead of the holidays in Philadelphia. I think this is going to be a good one. I always love Sarah Canning's movies. I do too. I loved her movie that she did with Daniel Listing on Great American Family, A Christmas Star. I love that one. Yes. That's like that's one of my one favorites of my... from her. Yes. Yeah. Same. It'll be fun to see an ER doctor and an EMT paired together as a couple right and yeah it will be yeah. mm -hmm. a storyline with a couple that's already together working through right mm -hmm. and going through life together yeah i love that i think it'll be fun to see the cameo from donna kelsey too yeah i wonder what yes. she'll play i know i wonder too yeah yeah i'll give this one uh 3.5 I'm going to give it a three around there. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Three Wiser Men and a Boy premieres on November 23rd. And it's starring Paul Campbell, Tyler Hines, Andrew Walker, and Margaret Collin. It was written by Paul Campbell, Camille Sestad, and Russell Hainline. It was directed by Terry Ingram. The story begins five years later with the Brenner brothers preparing for another memorable Christmas. And a crazy turn of events, possibly brought on accidentally by the brothers themselves, the director of Luke's son Thomas's school holiday musical steps down. Luke is desperate to make his son's day's dreams come true, so he enlists the help of his brother's Taylor and Stephanie. Meanwhile, the trio navigates meeting their mom Barbara's new boyfriend. I am super excited <laughs> for this movie. Too. Me too. I loved the first one. The first one yes. I think was in my top ten of twenty twenty two. Yeah, the first movie is iconic. Like it's, it's like an iconic Hallmark movie that will go down in history. <laughs> Yes, and it one was, of the highest rated, I believe, too. Yeah, of all time. Yeah, it, I knew that movie was going to be great when they first announced it. Those three mm -hmm. together, and plus Kimberly in it too. It's yeah, it's like it's like the perfect recipe. I'm super excited. The first one has some great moments. Like one of my favorite moments from the first one was when Luke, I think, was at work, and Stephen and Taylor were at home with. Thomas and Thomas was crying they could not get him to stop crying and Luke comes home and you know he's like what's going on you know and Luke mentions the cat gifs I remember Tyler saying he broke out of character during that scene too 
<laughs> and they had to redo it a few times. I know that seems one of the funniest ones in the entire movie. But like you said, that whole the comedy aspect of that movie between the three of them was so spot on. I remember I couldn't stop laughing. We I could not stop laughing. My aunt loved it too. She was wow, this is really funny. Yeah. Also in that scene, if you pay attention, you can see that Paul is about to bust out laughing too. Yes. Like you can yes. see a little <laughs> smirk on it. I remember that. Yes, I caught. I caught like the second time I watched it. But yeah, he's good. And of course, loved the choreographed dance. I think oh. we're gonna get it again from the previews right. that we have seen. Hallmark, right, it's another thing that's going down Hallmark history. <laughs> yep, but I'm gonna give this four point five out of five. I was actually gonna give it a five. Okay. I, yeah. Because I love because I love the first one so much. So. Yeah. High expectations. <laughs> yes, this one yeah. is highly anticipated, I think. <laughs> but it's going to be really fun. Mm -hmm, definitely. And a fan favorite for sure, among mm -hmm. a lot of people, I think. The next one is To Have and to Holiday on November 24th. It stars Madeline Arthur, Robert Bazoki, and Eric Close. When Celeste gets engaged to Jason after just a few months of dating, her father and the couple's would-be officiant, Pastor Mark, insist on putting them through a pre-wedding boot camp filled with mm. Christmas-themed challenges. I'm excited to see this one. And again, I think Hallmark is listening to us because we asked for more Madeline Arthur in Hallmark. And we <laughs> Getting Madeline Arthur, right? Like I said, I thought she was fantastic in Three Bed, Two Bath, One Ghost last year. We were saying like this girl's got to get another lead role, mm -hmm. and they gave it to her. I'm like, yay! Yes, <laughs> and yeah, she was great with Chris and Julie. So I'm excited to see Madeline paired with Robert and Eric close. And Eric has been in a couple of Hallmark movies before. To name a few, Angel Falls, a novel holiday with Jen Lilly and Carlo Marx, mm -hmm. a Christmas love story with Kristen Chenoweth and Scott Wolf, Christmas yes. in the Air with Catherine Bell, and mm -hmm. he's also been in a couple of pop shows like Criminal Minds, Without a Trace, mm -hmm. Law and Order, I SVU. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love him with that he's great. Trace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll be a fun movie for Hallmark. And I'm not going to lie, this one reminds me just a little bit of The Perfect Bride because of the pre-wedding boot camp. Right. Wait, who was in A Perfect Bride? Was that the one with... Pas um... Pascal Hutton and Kevin Smith? Right, right. I'm thinking of another movie, another Christmas movie. Yeah. Not that. I'm thinking of a Christmas movie, not that one. But no, that one, yes, that's what it reminds me of too. You said boot camp. Yeah. Except at Christmas time. <laughs> yes. I'll give it four out of five. Yeah, I was going to give it a 3.5. Okay. The next movie on our list is Debbie Maycomber's Joyful Mrs. Miracle, and it's premiering on November 28th. It stars Rachel Boston, Pascal Lamoth Kittness, Tanner Novlin, Matthew James Dowden, and Max Lloyd Jones. It was written by Nina Wyman and directed by Peter Benton. Three adult siblings return to their childhood home at Christmas to honor their late grandmother's wishes and try to agree on new leadership for the family company. Enter Annie Merkel, also known as Mrs. Miracle, who poses as an estate planner and uses her special brand of Christmas magic to help the family find common ground and rekindle their bonds. I am excited to see Rachel in another movie. And this, I think it's going to be a great ensemble cast. We've got Rachel, Pascal, Tanner, Matthew James Dowden, who has been in a lot of Hallmark projects over the years. He has. Hearty shout out to Max Lloyd-Jones, who plays mm. Tom Thornton. One yep. more calls to heart. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm excited mm -hmm. to see him in another movie as well. And I always enjoy 
Nina's movies. She's a fantastic writer. Again, Peter Benson. Who we love. <laughs> yes. Fantastic director. And the movies based on Debbie's books, I think, have always been enjoyable, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. She had the one a couple years ago, A Mrs. Miracle Christmas with Caitlin Doubleday, mm -hmm. which was that, a fun one. That's the one I remember. Yeah. And Caroline yeah, Ray. Was, yes. Mm -hmm. I thought that, that, that one was pretty good, but I feel like the storyline was like kind of very emotional, that one. It was. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of these are very emotional. These yeah. movies based on her books. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be great. As of right now, I'll give it a three out of five. But it could yeah, be higher. Yeah, I was going to give it like a 3.5. Okay. That's mm -hmm. fair. Yeah. Moving on to a 90s Christmas on November mm -hmm. 29th at 6 p.m. Eastern. It stars Eva Bourne, Chandler Massey, and Catherine mm -hmm. Burrell. It was written by Ryan Pekinpaul and directed by Marnie Bannock, while celebrating her promotion alone on Christmas Eve, a workaholic lawyer is transported back to 1999 <laughs> via a mysterious rideshare experience. <laughs> this is the second movie where we have gone back in time via a rideshare. Who doesn't love a movie in the 90s? It brings us yeah. right back to our childhood, Nicole. Like, it, this, the nostalgia yeah. is coming back to me. Yes. But I always love the time traveling movies too. I always feel like they do yeah. a fantastic job with those. And yeah, it's gonna be it sounds like it's gonna be a fun one. And that other movie I was referencing is an American in Austin. Yes. Yep. Because she gets in the ride there. Mm-hmm. And she travels and back in time, yep. Transported back to Jane Austen times. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which that is one of the best movies of the year so far. So I think this one is going to yeah. be up there too. I love that for one. me. That one I, yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. And when it came out um, back in February, mm -hmm. I am really excited to see what kind of '90s nostalgia is in this movie with the fashion, <laughs> the pop culture. Right. I know. Me too. Me too. It's going to be fun to see. Can we get possibly a Backstreet Boys reference or? Oh my God, please, please. Or like, like Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera, any of those people, any of those singers from back in yes. the 90s. I'm going to give it five out of five because the 90s nostalgia is real. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to give it a 4.5. 4. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Love Eva, love Chandler, love Catherine. I think they're going to have great chemistry. I know Eva from When Calls the Heart. She was Clara Stanton Flynn, the one that married Jesse Flynn. Yes. And then mm -hmm. Catherine was on Good Witch. Chandler has been in a couple of great Hallmark movies over the mm -hmm. years. So yeah, this is yes. going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. So the next movie is Deck the Walls and it's premiering on November 29th and it's starring Ashley Green, Wes Brown, and Danny Pellegrino. Chicago interior designer Rose returns to her hometown to help her brother with a charity house flip. It's another charity another, house, another house flip. <laughs> another house flip movie, which I think will be fun. I always love Wes's movies. Ashley's great. Mm -hmm. This is Completely the first great. time. I'm seeing Danny in a Hallmark movie, I think. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I think it'll be fun. Yes, like, same. I just, I agree with everything you said. Love Wes. Ashley's mm -hmm. great. I love, to this day, her movie that she, Christmas movie that she did with Brandon Penny a few few years ago is still one of my favorite movies, Christmas yeah. movies of all time. It's Hallmark. great. I, I yeah. love that one. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun to see Danny for the first time since we've never seen him before in a movie. So that's going to be cool. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. And we don't know the director and writer yet, but I'm so curious to see who wrote this because... Me too. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. I'll give it, as of right now, I'll give it a three out of five. Yeah, I was going to give it a 3.5. Yeah, five. but it could be higher. 
Mm -hmm. Next is Believe in Christmas. It premieres on November 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern. It stars Megan Ory and John Reardon. Mm -hmm. It was written by Christy Will Wolf and Maggie Dolan and directed by Christy Will Wolf. Although skeptical of holiday magic, Beatrice reluctantly joins her best friend on a trip to Christmas land where she meets a charming stranger named Ethan. Mm. Soon she begins to question what's real and what's part of the experience. I am really excited to see this one, especially because we know that Megan and John are a real life couple. Yes. I love that they were able to do a movie together and they put them together. I think, I think that's mm -hmm. so sweet. It's, it's going to be so fun to see how great their chemistry is since they're married in real life. So I think it's going to be a really sweet movie. Yes. And is it just me or does this remind you of the movie Christmas Land with Nikki DeLoach and Luke McFarlane? It does. It does. Because you, you know what's funny about that movie? I've only seen that movie in parts. I have to watch the full thing. But the parts I've seen, I know what you're talking about, but it does remind me of this movie. It does. And that was a great movie too it was mm -hmm. yeah From the parts that i've seen of it yeah yeah i think that was one of nikki and luke's first hallmark movies if i remember I think, correctly it was think, very early yeah. on it was from 2015 and that was actually before i even started watching hallmark on a regular basis so i started like i started five years after that so i was way i, I wasn't even close to watching them back then either it came out two years before I started watching Hallmark, or a year mm -hmm. and a half. Yeah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. It was right in the middle of Link Calls the Heart, mm -hmm. season four, or right at the end when I started watching Hallmark mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Yeah, I started December 2019, so <laughs> two years after yeah. you. And speaking of Link Calls the Heart, John Reardon was in Link Calls the Heart as Nathaniel Oliver. <laughs> season one parties you will get that <laughs> reference i will not spoil it for you alex because if you ever watch this show saying who the character is will give it away <laughs> no spoilers no spoilers and megan of course chesapeake shores so oh, yeah love her on that show she was mm -hmm. so great in that show i remember being so excited about this next movie when I first heard it was coming out mm -hmm. and the pairing that is in this movie is going to be even make it more fantastic. Mm -hmm. Plus the storyline I love. The next movie is a holiday touchdown, a cheese love story. And it's premiering on November 30th. And it's starring Hunter King and Tyler Hines. And it was written by Julie Sherman Wolf and directed by John Putch. Alana Higman is sure that her family lifelong history as Kansas City Chiefs super fans makes them a front runner to win the team's fan of the year contest. Derek, director of fan engagement, is tasked with evaluating how Alana and her family stack up against the other two finalists. As the pair spends time together, it's clear there's a spark between them, but when her grandfather's vintage Chief's good luck winter hat goes missing, Alana begins to doubt everything she's believed about fate, destiny, and even questions her future with Derek, unless that is a little Christmas magic can throw a Hail Mary. This is going to be a great movie, I think. Me, first of all, it has it, the storyline based on Taylor Swift. So, like, you already won me over. I'm like the biggest Swifty ever. So, that's a, it's a win for me. But I'm, yeah. I think they're gonna have such great chemistry together, Hunter and Tyler. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. so excited to see them together in this movie. Yeah, so excited. Yeah, I always <laughs> love Julie Sherman Wolf's movies. Yeah, she always. makes a lot of great movies. Yep, she does. Yeah. And this was directed by the same director of A Built More Christmas. So we know it's going to yep. be fantastic. Yes. Yep. John did a 
amazing, fantastic job with that movie last year. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that's one of my favorites of the entire year last year with Christopher and Bethany. So Mm -hmm. since he's he's direct, yes, yes, number one. Since he's directing this one, you know, it's going to probably have the same traction and everyone's going to love it. And it has the same costume designer too. Mm. Keith Costumes. Shout out if you're listening. Yes. Keith, you did an amazing job this year. You can do even even more of an amazing job this year. So yeah, I'm excited to see this one, and it'll be fun to see all the cameos. We've got another cameo by Donna Kelsey, and then Jenna Bush Hager, Coach mm. Andy Reid, and then a couple of the Kansas City Chiefs players as mm. well. That's going to be so, so fun to see. Yeah, I'm going to give it a five out of five. Same. Yep. My ranking will be a five out of five too. (laughs) Yep. Next, the finish line. And this Mm. premieres December 1st at 6 p.m. Eastern. It stars Kim Matula, Bo Murkoff, and Nicole Sakura. It was written by John Bellina, Nicole Dressful, and Talia Gonzalez, and directed by Dustin Reichert. Inspired by her father's acclaimed legacy in dog sled racing, Anya follows in her dad's legacy in dog sled racing, heading to Finland after his death to take part in the 40th annual, I apologize if I mispronounce this, Jaluraha race. Mm-hmm. This looks like a really fun movie. I love Kim Matula. I have really enjoyed, I think, every one of her movies she's done so far. For Hallmark. Me too. I I think it's going to be a great one. I love like the dog sledding aspect of t- yeah. to it. I think that's so cute. Yeah. And I think I think Kim and Bo are going to oh. have are going to have great chemistry. Like I said, I love both movies he's been in for Hallmark movie, and I love mm-hmm. her movies that she's been in. Like you just said, yeah. I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a really good one. Bo has also been on Heartland. He was on Ride. Which Awkward. Was- with Nikki Deloach back in the day. Yes. I remember that. Yep. Kim was in Ghost of Christmas Always and then checking it twice last year with Kevin. So, yeah. Yeah. I think they'll have great chemistry. Probably mm-hmm. not the same storyline, but it reminds me a little bit of that movie. I think it was from Disney about the dog sledding. I know which one you're talking about. Is it, is it, I, I can't recall the name the one I'm thinking of is Snow Dogs Which one from 2002. I'm thinking of another, of another dog sledding movie that Paul Walker was in. Okay. I just yeah. I can't I can't recall the name. I'm pretty sure I can't it's Paul either. Walker. Yeah. But don't quote me on it. But I know which movie you're yeah. talking about. Snow Dogs yeah. is a good one too. Snow Dogs has Cuba Gooding Jr. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'll give this one a uh, four. Out of five. I was going to do the same because I love Bo. <laughs> yes, me too. Four. Yep. The next movie on our list, which I'm very excited about, is called The Christmas Quest, and it's premiering on December 1st, and it's starring Christopher Palaha, who's my favorite of all favorites, and mm-hmm. Lacey Chabert. It was written by Marcy Holland, Andrew Gernhard, and Dustin Reichert, and mm-hmm. directed by Dustin Reichert. An archaeologist and her ex-husband, an expert in ancient Norse languages, are sent to Iceland at Christmas time to search for the legendary treasure of the Yule Lads. When others join in the hunt, the pair find themselves swept into a thrilling adventure as they race to keep it from falling in the wrong hands. (laughs) This... Another most anticipated movie of the year for me. I am so excited for this one. Especially because yeah. love Chris. I love anything that he's in. Yeah. Same love as Lacey. Lacey. When I first heard that they were going to be paired together, I was like, ooh, I'm really excited. Really excited about it. But I love the storyline. Yeah. The storyline. Me too. It's like, it's like literally like a scavenger hunt. And they have to keep track of the scavenger hunt. <laughs> before it gets in the wrong hands yeah so it's and i love that it was shot in iceland because iceland is gorgeous never been have you I know a bunch of people never that been. have been 
and yeah. pho- like they posted photos mm-hmm. and it looks beautiful beautiful so yeah. it's going to be a great destination movie this year yeah for Christmas. I think so too this mm-hmm. is another Hallmark Iceland movie we've had a couple over the years we had right love on Iceland with mm-hmm. Caitlin Doubleday yes that was one of my favorite winter movies I love movies. that one too mm-hmm. yeah of course the podcast storyline because yes. she had a podcast right right oh yeah she was in that with Colin Colin O'Donnell I thought they had great chemistry in that movie yes they did Mm -hmm. so I think Chris and Lacey will have fantastic chemistry we've already seen a trailer to this or a sneak peek and Mm -hmm. it's going to be wonderful yes I I think so too like I said definitely one of the more anticipated movies to watch this year Mm -hmm. for sure yeah, and I'm sure the scenery will be beautiful. And again, with the Biltmore Christmas shout out, Marcy Holland wrote Biltmore Christmas. Yes. So, yep. I remember when Chris first posted a photo of them on Instagram, and a fan asked him that. And he goes, Yeah, Marcy, who wrote Biltmore last year, is writing this one. So it's going to, I'm like, Oh, yeah. it's going to be another winner. Yep, she also wrote Time for Her to Come Home for Christmas, Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas right, with Tyler, right. Nikki and Nora, Time for Them oh. to Come Home for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she wrote a lot. A couple of the Hannah Swenson mysteries. I am super excited for this one. I'll give it five out of five. Me too. Definitely a five out of five for me. Yeah. Next is Private Princess Christmas on December 6th. It stars Ali Scobie, Derek Kleena, and Erica Durant. Vi, better known as Princess Violet of Wingravia, adores the privileges of being royal, if none of the responsibilities. After being disappointed by Vi, one time too many, the queen decides to test her daughter's mettle once and for all and issues an ultimatum. Vi must pass a vigorous leadership boot camp in Colorado or lose the throne to her uncle. At boot Mm. camp, Vi and her fellow cadets are put through a rigorous grind under the uncompromising supervision of Captain Ryan Douglas. Mm. I think this will be an interesting movie. What about you? Yeah, I do too. Like when you were reading that, I'm like, wow, this is going to be it's gonna be different i love ally i love derek derek was in holiday spectacular with jenna claire mason right all oh, right yes i loved him in that i loved him yeah in that. and erica durant's too just based on what we know from this movie i hate to do <laughs> this because i love all three of them i'm gonna have to say a 2.5 <laughs> Just, I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. Just based on how much we know. Right. Maybe once we've seen it, it'll be higher, I hope, because unfortunately, I was not a huge fan of the Gilded Newport Mysteries. I wasn't a fan of it either. Mm. And I, I hate know. that because I love that cast too. Right. Yeah. I just so. wasn't crazy. I watched a little bit of it, I just couldn't get into it. I thought I would like it more, but I didn't. Mm, same. And I wanted to like it too because Jeff is in it as well. So, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this one will be higher once we've seen it. But mm-hmm. that's my ranking as yeah. of right now. The next movie on our list is called Sugar Plum, and it's premiering on December 7th. It's starring Maggie Lawson and Janelle Parrish, and it was directed by Ryan Landles. With dreams of creating a perfect Christmas she's seen on TV, Emily gets a major surprise when her wish comes true. Sugar Plum, a TV movie's optimistic main character, magically steps off the screen. As things spiral out of control, she learns that true holiday perfection might look very different from what she imagined. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think about this one, but I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I do it's too. Got, 
a magic element to it. It's definitely like fun with like the TV mm-hmm. aspect of it. She wants to be the main character, but things as it seems in the synopsis, it takes a turn. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna see, we have to see when we watch it and see what we think of it. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm sure that Sugar Plum is a reference to the Nutcracker with the Sugar Plum Fairies. Right. Probably So is. that'll be yep. fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's been some great fantasy magic movies over the years from Hallmark. So No, there has been. Yep. Yeah. And if you want to hear some of my favorites, Hallmarkies, if you're listening, go check out my episode with the Hallmark Cafe, hosted by the wonderful Diane and Michael Killen. So go oh. check it out and follow their podcast. Yes, I'm going to check that out. <laughs> I'm going to give this one, this is tough, because <laughs> I was gonna give it it's a hard three. to tell with some of I'm these. Gonna I'm going to give it three. Yeah. Start off, yeah. But love Janelle, love Maggie. They've mm-hmm. both had some great Hallmark movies over the years. So I think it'll yes. be fun. Mm-hmm. And I think it's probably got some ballet in it, would be oh. my guess. Yeah, probably. And I took ballet when I was a kid. So yeah, it'll be fun to see some dancing in this movie as well. Yeah, I love that. I love ballet. Yeah. I took ballet. I took jazz. I took tap. Almost all of the dance classes mm-hmm. that kids take. <laughs> Never took ballet, but I did take jazz and tap when I was younger in dance school. So I remember. Yep. Yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. But moving on to Leah's Perfect Gift on December 8th, it stars Emily Arluk, Evan Roderick, and Barbara Niven. Mm. It was directed by Peter Benson. A Christmas lover, Leah has admired the holiday from afar because she's Jewish. Though her family celebrates Hanukkah, Leah has longed to experience a traditional Christmas. When her boyfriend Graham invites her to spend the holidays with his classic Connecticut family, she eagerly accepts. Excited to dive into the quintessential Christmas she's always dreamed of, Leah quickly discovers that fitting in with Graham's uptight family Mm -hmm. and his not-so-welcoming mom is easier said than done. As Mm. holiday traditions clash and awkward moments pile up, it is not quite the cozy Christmas that she expected. I'm going to venture to say that Barbara Niven is the not-so-welcoming mom. I agree. I was going to say the same thing. And it's weird because I don't think I ever saw Barbara in a part where she hasn't been that nice in. Like, i never seen her play, like, a role that she's, like, not that sweet to people in so it's gonna be like a little bit interesting to see how she plays this part she did play a role similar a while back in the movie with candace cameron beret paul green and marcus rosner oh right you're right i take that a christmas just, detour i think she did play you know why i don't think i watched the whole thing of that movie that's probably why i only saw her briefly in it Mm-hmm. I can't really remember, but no, she wasn't nice in that movie. That was the one movie she, she wasn't was, nice in. She was Marcus's mom in that movie. Right, right, yep. Yeah, yeah. but I remember all her other roles where she like played very sweet yeah. parts usually, so it's going to be interesting to see her play that part a second time now with this one. Yes, and that's one reason why we love Barbara. She can play those roles so well while yep. also playing the sweet Right, she does. Kind roles. Always great, being sweet or funny. And then mm-hmm. now she'll play a part like this. So, yeah, she always, I love yeah. Barbara in all her movies. I love her she's, in Stores. She's wonderful, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm so excited to see her in another movie. I loved her movie from last year, Miss Christmas Comes to Town. Yes. That was I one of my favorites one. from Mine 2023. Too. And I love that we're getting a little bit of a mix of Christmas and Hanukkah in this movie. That'll be fun. Right, right. A bit of diversity. Yeah, I feel like there's been a lot of great, like, 
Hanukkah movies over the years too that they've mm-hmm. come out on Hallmark. So I like that mix. Yeah, me too. I'll give this one 3.5 as of right now. Yeah, I was going to give it around a three. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Hanukkah, the next movie is called Hanukkah on the Rocks and it's premiering on December 13th. It stars Stacey Farber, Darren Kagasoff, and Mark Summers. It was written by Julie Sherman Wolf and directed by Sean Durofty. Just one week before Hanukkah, corporate lawyer Tori is unemployed and questioning what's next as she helps her bubby prepare for the holiday. She embarks on a quest across Chicago to find the last box of coveted Hanukkah candles. Her search leads her to unexpected encounters and self-discovery. This one's got a little bit of mystery to it, so I'm excited to see a Hanukkah mystery. Yeah, me too, me too. Also, I love Stacey Farber. Mm-hmm. I love her movies that she's been in. Darren, I know from, probably going to know the show, Secret Life of the American Teenager. I've heard of day. it. Yeah, he was a star in role in that. He was really good in that. And yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting, like a fun yeah. mystery, like he said, that involves Hanukkah. Nice twist yeah. to it. And another one written by Julie, who I said before, I always love her movies. So I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, definitely going to be a fun one. Yeah. And I always love, even though I celebrate Christmas, I always love seeing the Hanukkah movies as well. They're normally a lot of fun. Right. I love that they incorporate yeah. that into the Christmas yes. movies. And I have friends who celebrate Hanukkah. So it's fun to see the diversity as mm-hmm. well. Yep. I'll give this one 3.5 right now. I was going to say the same, 3.5. Next is The Santa Class, premiering on December 14th, starring Kimberly Susted and Benjamin Ayers. It was written by Russell Hainline, Alexandra Koskis, and Joseph Kelbley, and directed by Lucy Guest. Ahead of the holidays, Kate North, reluctantly takes over her father's struggling Santa school. Soon, she and her new co-worker, Dan, discover who they believe to be the real Santa Claus. Lost and without memories after his sled steered off course and crashed near the school. Mm. I'm excited to see these two together. Yeah, I think I think they're going to have really good chemistry. I really do. I think so, too. And yeah. Maybe it's just me, but this gives me just a little bit of Santa Claus vibes. It does. It does. It reminds me of that, too. Love the Santa Claus. Yeah. Such a classic holiday movie. Yes. And Russell wrote the Santa Summit last year, so we know it's going to be Another fun great. one. hmm Yeah. And Lucy, she's directed a couple of things for Hallmark. Mm-hmm. I think this is her second one of this season so it'll be fun I think Mm -hmm. she'll do a great job I believe she directed sealed with the list last year if I am correct Mm. so yeah she she did did a great job I'll give this one four out of five yeah I was gonna say like a 3.5 out of five okay yeah the next movie on our list is following a yonder star and it's premiering on December 15th also, and this, it's a day spring movie, mm-hmm. and it's starring Brooke Dorsey and John Brotherton. It was directed by Jeff Beasley. When a scandal upends a famous TV mother's life, ahead of the holiday, she heads to a luxury Vermont resort for Christmas. Upon arriving, a booking hour leads her to a quaint B&B owned by an astronomy teacher. <laughs> This is going to be really fun. And this one actually reminds me of Miracle in Bethlehem, PA from last year a little bit. Yes, with with Benjamin. Yes, it does too. You know which one I was also um, thinking of? It's a great American family movie. The one with um, Jesse Hutch and Jen Lilly, B&B Mary. Yeah, that's what I thought of. In Miracle in Bethlehem, PA, Laura's character goes to a and b because she right. gets stranded yeah, because it's a snowstorm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And 
of course, this being a Dayspring movie, it's going to have some faith elements to it. So I love that. Mm, always too. in Hallmark. Yep. That's always special to include. Yeah. And I love the title of this movie, Following Yonder Star. If that doesn't have a faith element to it already with the right? title, I don't know what. I agree. It'll be really fun. I think it's going to be a beautiful movie. I've loved every day spring movie so far that Hallmark has oh, done. I know. I love majority of them. Like I said, I love that they add that faith aspect to these day spring movies. Yeah. I think it's like so beautiful to include on the network yeah. and important to include. Yes. And we had the gift of peace as the first day spring movie in 2022. Mm -hmm. And yes. then the blessing bracelet, I believe early mm -hmm. 2023. And then miracle yep. in Bethlehem PA, I think was the third one. So this will mm -hmm. be the fourth. Yay. <laughs> they are three for three for me. So I, I think it's going to be great. Love Brooke. Love John. Love John. Yep. Of course, mm -hmm. John was on Fuller House. Yes, yep, we can't, it's Cameron Bure, yep. Brooke has been in a ton of Hallmark movies I've loved, so yeah, it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I'm excited to see them together. I'm going to go out on a limb and say five out of five, because I've really? loved all the day spring movies. <laughs> I was going to give it a four. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And the last one for mm -hmm. Countdown to Christmas of 2024 it's Happy Holidays mm -hmm. on December 21st, starring Jessica Lowndes, opposite the to-be-announced winner of Finding Mr. Christmas, mm. a webpage editor spending the holidays alone is drawn into an unusual encounter when she encounters a stray dog. Mm. I think this is going to be a fun one. Yeah, I like it. I love Jessica. I'm excited mm -hmm. to see who our co-star is in this because we don't know who it is yet. No. So, but yeah, like I said, I love majority of Jessica's movies mm -hmm. that she's been in. One of my all-time favorite Hallmark Christmas movies of all time is her movie with Daniel Lissing in December Bride. Like that, it's like, it's Bride. going, it's going down in history for me. That movie yes. and that movie, their chemistry in that movie is so amazing. But mm -hmm. yeah, I love Jessica. Yeah. I feel like everyone she's been in movies with, she has great chemistry with. Mm -hmm. So I feel like whoever's in this movie with her, she's probably have amazing chemistry with. I think so too. Yeah, I am excited to see who is going to win Finding I Mr. Know. Christmas. Or in that <laughs> coveted Hallmark punk role. Right. <laughs> Me too. I think it'll be fun. Are you going to watch Finding Mr. Christmas? Yes. It'll be on Hallmark Plus, so you should definitely get Hallmark Plus. Yeah, I gotta get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally worth it for all that I you know. get. I keep on telling. I know. I really have to get it. Because if you don't get it, you're going to miss out on all this good stuff. No, I know. It's just exclusive to Hallmark Plus. Right. Like Ready, Set, Glow, which is the show hosted by Wes Brown. We've got Finding right. Mr. Christmas. Right. Um, There's a lot of things on there. Yep. There's a lot of movies on yeah. there. The Christmas on Cherry Lane sequel movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm excited for all the Christmas content this season. It's going to be great. Me too. Like I said, when we started, Nicole, the list keeps growing and growing yeah. and evolving every single year. And like you said, the yeah. Christmas movies on this network never disappoint. Like everyone mm -hmm. loves them. That's why everyone keeps coming back to Hallmark Channel is because of mm -hmm. the Christmas movies plus the other movies that we see yeah. during the whole entire year. But yeah, it's going to be another great list of movies this year. Yeah. And I counted across Hallmark Channel, Hallmark Mystery, mm -hmm. and Hallmark Plus. There is 52 Christmas movies and shows coming out. So, so crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. It's great for the yeah. network. So Yes, it definitely is. And then we've got to think about the 17 Great American Family movies. <laughs> Right, and then we got those, yeah, we got those tacked on, yep, it's a lot so that, of that is 67, if I that's, counted right. No, that's a lot, that's a, but that's why I love this, these two networks so much, because it just gives me something happy to watch. Yes, I'm really excited, and also, 
going back to Jessica, I really want to know what that movie is that she filmed with Dan. I know. I would like what I I didn't see it on the list for um Great American Family movies, and I was like confused. I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, maybe it is a Hallmark movie, and now I'm like, um, we better find out soon because I'm gonna go, we need to know. Is Hallmark just gonna like pop that one in there? Is it surprise? They might, they might just slide on in, like like they just fly on in. The call be like surprise. Or Great American Family. I don't know what network it's gonna be on. I'm not I don't sure. Know. Maybe they haven't like really like finalized everything yet. Maybe that's why it's like not added to the list. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I'm really excited for that one. Too. Me too. I thought it was going to be this one, but then they said I did too. opposite I did too. Finding Mr. Christmas. So I was right. like, well, no, can't be that one. So going back to Happy Holidays, because I think I forgot to rate it. <laughs> I'm going to give it 3.5 as of right now. I was going to give it a four. Okay. Yeah. Jessica's great. So yep. I think it'll be a fun movie. Well, I think that pretty much covers our Hallmark Channel Countdown to Christmas preview for 2024. Thanks for joining me, Alex. I had a great time. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me again. It's always fun to discuss all these yeah. movies with you. And I can't wait to be back. <laughs> yes, I can't wait to have you back for some of the Christmas movies this yes. year. It's going to yeah, be a great time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Hallmarkies. I think that wraps up our Hallmark channel, Countdown to Christmas 2024 preview. If you enjoyed this episode and are watching on YouTube, you can like this video and share the movie you are most excited to see this season. If you are listening on Spotify, make sure to rate and review as your feedback is always greatly appreciated. If you want to stay up to date on all of my episodes, you can subscribe to this channel on YouTube or follow along on Spotify and make sure to turn on the bell so you are alerted when those new episodes come. You can also find the podcast on Instagram and Facebook at Swing mm -hmm. My Heart Podcast and Twitter at Swing My Heart Pod. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And we will see you next time. We love y'all. Mm -hmm.